This is how you make a clay piece more functional on a mug. First off, you build your piece on the mug, and before you bake it, you put some mineral oil on the mug itself because the mineral oil will act as a release agent. So you put a little bit of that on, and then you create your design on the mug, whatever it may be, and then after it's baked, you can take the little butter knife there and just pop it right off. Okay, now after you pop it off, you definitely make, need to make sure that you clean it really well because um, you're just still going to have the oils and any clay residue left on the mug itself. So once we've got the mug nice and clean, we're going to use some uh, epoxy, clear epoxy, to put onto uh, the mug. And the epoxy is very durable and it will help secure the wreath to the mug so that it will make it hand washable. One thing about these clay pieces is you, they are not microwave safe um, because the clay will not withstand, this is polymer clay, it will not stand up to the microwave, so these are functional enough to be hand washed, and um, there, there you go. So right now what I'm doing is I'm mixing the two part epoxy together, okay, and uh, you want to mix that up real good, and then uh, after that you're basically just going to take that epoxy and put it on the back of the wreath, which is coming up in a second here, there you go. You're going to put that on the back of the wreath. You don't need it to be super heavy. Just a little bit of a coating does it. And then um, you see I'm using a craft stick right there, popsicle stick. And I'm just putting it a little bit on everywhere. Um, like I said, you don't want it heavy because you don't want it seeping out the sides of your piece. Just a light um, spread up on the piece. And you don't want to bring it out too far to the edges either because it'll also it'll kind of seep out on the sides if you do it that way. All right, and then, like I said, once we get all the epoxy on there, actually that might even be a little bit too much epoxy, but that's doing pretty good, actually did all right. So yeah, you get your epoxy on there, and then at that point, we're just gonna put it on our mug, as soon as I get all this extra epoxy on here. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to apply it to the mug. And it's as simple as putting it down there. Make sure it's nice and centered. You see I have a cloth underneath the mug to keep it from moving. It keeps it sturdy, sturdy. And you just leave it sitting like there overnight. It's a five minute epoxy, but for it to really cure, it takes about 24 hours. So just sit it over there. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. And there you go. You got yourself a permanent fixture on a mug.